Hey guys, Vegathron here. The Katana Zero Discord hosted an event today with Justin from ASCIISoft, showing off some cool games that are similar to Katana Zero. This included Sanabi, Red Ronin, and Star Fetchers, all of which looked awesome. I particularly liked Sanabi, which coincidentally, I've started playing a few weeks ago. The game is still not finished, but so far it's well on its way to being on a similar level as Katana Zero, so definitely check it out if you're curious. As cool as that was, we all know the main reason you're here, the Katana Zero DLC. At the end of the stream, Justin and his colleague played part of the first level of the DLC. This is the first time we've gotten a proper taste of the DLC, and there was a solid 15 minutes worth of gameplay with lots to take in. Unfortunately, there were a few technical issues with the video quality and audio synchronization, but I've done my best to sync it back up and tidy a few sections up. If you want the raw uncut footage, I'll leave a link below for the Twitch VOD. The event organizers are also working on getting a good quality run of the level, which we can expect to see soon. Now, without further ado. Starting us off, we straight away got a new track of the DLC called Return to Form by Billy Kylie. And we did earlier get confirmation from Justin that the DLC will have a completely new soundtrack, so many more bangers to come. We also get the name of the first level pop up on the screen, which is Weapons Lab. In the second area, we come across our first new enemy, the scientists. As we've mentioned on previous videos, these enemies shoot green projectiles that can bounce off surfaces. In Area 3 we can see more scientists, along with some dialogue regarding a little side plot about Jim's birthday. We also see Zero deflecting a green projectile from the scientist. I previously suspected these would not be deflectable, but this is not the case. Area 4 is quite interesting. We see some scientists going over three new weapons, one of which we have lying right in front of us, the Roman Candle. The Roman Candle is a devastating rocket launcher that leaves behind small explosives that go off after a delay for a second round of destruction. We do get the start of the name for another weapon, but it's cut off so we can only know it's called the Plasma Something. Area 5, we don't really see anything new here. There's another Roman candle, but unfortunately the stream stutters, so we don't get to see it in action a second time. Area 6, we get the continuation of the side plot for Jim's birthday. You've got to feel sorry for the guy. Sitting next to him, we also have another new weapon. We'll call it the Plasma Thrower for now. We already knew about this weapon and its ability to arc between multiple enemies, but the charge meter above Zero's head has confirmed the weapon will be multiple use.
Area 7 is another cutscene about Jim's birthday. Again, very entertaining, but nothing new gameplay-wise, but I am glad to see the return of some funny dialogue options. Area 8 has something we've never seen before in a Katana Zero game, water in a level. It's hard to tell, but it appears you'll be moving slower while in it. More water here, and we also get to see the scientist interact with and use the plasma thrower sitting on the ground, which is cool. We also see the plasma thrower projectiles are deflectible. Uh, for those who are really dissatisfied with the stream quality, um, we can we can try to get a uh, like a raw upload up at some point if ASCII's down with it. Here we see the third and final new weapon, we'll call it the Repulsor Field. Again, we've been shown this before, but this time around it has an added bubble effect. We can also see it too has a charge meter that gradually goes down as you use it. It's hard to make out, it appears the plasma projectile has slight lock-on capabilities as it looks like it curves towards the enemy. Also the two guards in the nearby room who are in the water get hit by the arc, leading me to believe the water can be electrified by it.
And last of all, an amazing cutscene with 15 to end it. He mentions them taking a girl. Could this be the same little girl Zero is now trying to find? Very interesting. And that's all for the footage. Again, I'll likely do a re-upload of this when better quality footage is available, hopefully in a week or so. Justin did answer some interesting questions regarding development and the game on stream, but did not give anything away regarding the plot, story or release date of the DLC, so we'll still have to wait a bit longer for that. Either way though, it's nice to get something new to look at. Anyway guys, that's all for this one. Be sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any other Katana Zero news. And if you want more Katana Zero content or previous DLC news, why not check out my other videos?